different people need different things from news and we have learned from user research and growth hacks and constant iteration that there are six specific needs that audiences expect to be satisfied when it comes to news coverage. Update Me is one of them. These are your straightforward news articles, a traditional format that newsrooms, editors, journalists know so well. They tell you about the facts to do with a particular event, effectively answering the broader question, what has happened and what are the details. They're your classic who, when, where, what types of articles, and the most typical format for them is a news story, a summary, a write-up, a live blog, a news video. Taking an election example, an update me story will be an article telling you who won, who lost, giving you quotes, percentages, other outcomes, some background. Keep Me On Trend is a user need mostly linked to social media. A piece satisfying this piece is a piece answering the question what people on social media are saying about this particular piece of news. A person reading or watching such a piece might be interested in contributing to a wider conversation. This piece can explain to the audience why a certain hashtag is trending on social media so it can involve a bit of social news gathering and investigation. It can be a piece that your social team is likely to put together themselves or be interested in publishing on your own channels. These pieces tend to be shared more often and generate engagement creating a nice loop. The most typical format is an article or a short video with lots of social media posts embedded inside it. A collection of tweets or Facebook or Instagram posts. In case of an election, it could easily be a collection of the best social media reaction to the event, including memes. Give me perspective, that's where analysts and experts rule. Unpacking a complex argument in relation to what it means for a regular person. Articles and videos satisfying this need are full of opinions and quotes. They help a user understand how a certain news event would impact their daily life or the lives of their loved ones. These pieces are also about giving audiences different perspectives on a particular subject, views for it, views against it. They help a user to form their own opinion or participate in a conversation or discussion on the topic. Most typical formats are a profile, an analysis, an opinion piece, a background piece, an interview. The headlines almost always have a question at the end, sometimes a quote to draw your attention to the nature of the piece. In case of an election, for example, it could be an analytical piece about what it means to voters or to a country's relations with the outside world. Educate me. This is one of my favorite user needs, and I'm glad I'm seeing more of it in use. It helps users to learn more about a particular topic, fuel their curiosity in a particular area, unpack a complicated subject into its basic components. Newsrooms tend to overestimate the audience's knowledge level of a certain topic or a subject, which means they sometimes pitch the story in a way that users can't connect with. The most typical format for an Educate Me piece is a Q&A article, a listicle, a how-to video, and headlines must make it clear that this piece is different and evergreen. You'll be smart to reuse these pieces again and again. In case of an election, this could be a useful piece explaining to people how an election process works, what different building blocks are, what certain words mean. Inspire Me pieces tend to be long-form journalism or standard features telling stories about someone achieving something significant despite all odds. These are stories about interesting people doing interesting, inspiring, surprising things. It can also be about solution journalism, which is a huge expectation from the media by both millennials and Jet Z generations. Stop telling us what's wrong with the world. Tell us how and what we can do to change it. One remark though, it's not about campaigning journalism, although it can be if your newsroom policy allows it. Inspire Me stories help audiences think more about their social responsibility, make them feel proud of or for other people. The most typical format for this user need is a first-person feature or a historical story with lots of personal photographs and details. In case of an election, for instance, it could be a story of an election monitor or a campaigner. Divert Me using it in its first iteration was actually called Amuse Me, but later was changed to underline its true meaning and purpose. People's news diets should be varied and consist of all kinds of things. Users can't consume hard news all the time. Newsrooms ought to give them something completely different. It can be a lighter take on a harder topic, Remember that famous photo piece about all those colorful jackets Angela Merkel wore to all summits. 
or it can be something that is fun or interesting or curious to share. News can be fun too, right? It can be anything that breaks hard news consumption. The most typical format for it is a video, a picture gallery, a surprising short piece story, in other words, something lighter. <laughs>